feel? Cause I feel so awesome. How you feel? Awesome. I guess that awesome. You fine in your head. Awesome. Wanna roll? Awesome. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah. Hands in the skyline. I'm A W E. Some call me awesome. Some call me busy. Call me awesome. Gator on my shirt. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. What's up with y'all, man? I'm finally bringing y'all what y'all all wanted to see. It's the all-star game for my player mode. I'm in my first season, right? Now check this out. I got to pick, you know, the first point guard, you know. Um, I got to pick over Darren Williams. Rondo didn't make it. You know, I got picked over D. Rose. I got picked over a lot of different people um, to become the, the starting point guard. Now, um, I kind of realized this. There was a glitch. And, uh, of course, you already know that I'm not going to start. But I do have a couple things that I want to talk about today. And it's definitely regarding 2K and what they've done with this game. Now, this intro right here, right? You like? I like the way you know all the players are shown. They should have this type of intro every game. They shouldn't have the intro where it's both of the teams standing side by side and then just giving away the positions. I kind of like this feature of the game and they should have it in there more. Now, um, this right here is for all the people that don't know who I am because I know this video is going to get viewed by a lot of different people. And basically, let me give you a little bit of something about what I do. I'm a YouTuber, of course. Um, I make NBA 2K11, 2K12, COD Black Ops, MW3, MCLA, and anything else I can get my hands on. I make all types of videos. Now, um, I do have something that I want to talk about, and it's regarding, you know, at 2K Sports on Twitter and at Ronnie2K. Now, um, first thing is, at Ronnie2K, I know that, you know, we can't blame you for, you know, all the flaws in NBA 2K12 at all. And I don't want to make it seem like, you know, I'm doing that because I'm not. Um, a lot of people may come to your page, you know, trolling you, telling you how NBA 2K12 isn't shit. I'm just I'm just being real with you. Um, and I don't want everybody to say, oh, well, it's all his fault. You know, he works for them. He has all the information. It's, it's all his fault. I don't want it to seem like that. It's 2K's fault. And we all know that. And um, Ronnie, it's nothing that you can do but give us the information when it's updated. Now, um, let me hurry up and come in the game. Like I said before, I wasn't a starter, so I just got to wait until my time is on. Um, now, at Ronnie2K, please do this. Please take this patch wish list into consideration. And when I mean taking it into consideration, please patch everything I talk about. Also, Ronnie, go down to the comments because I'm telling you a lot of people are going to be leaving comments about what they want and what they don't need in NBA 2K12. Now, the first thing on my list, I'm going to get I'm going to jump right into it, man. Um at 2K Sports, do this from the drive. The intro for NBA 2K12, the basketball intro. Can you make it so whereas though you could pick a different song for it? Because, you know, some people might want that awesome track because that track is actually like one of the best tracks on a, on an actual game. And I kind of want to hear that track when the game comes on myself. Now, um, as it goes for the main menu, um, the main menu by itself is great. But take all the options out whereas though there's nothing clickable like NBA2K.com. There's nothing clickable. It's not like you can, you know, click it and go onto the website from the disc. So please take that out. It's no reason to have it. Um, also... For all the sneakers, why wouldn't you put the MJ sneakers in the game without having to put a code in? You should have just put the every single MJ sneaker that was on the game inside the game without a problem. Now, some people might have started their my player and found out about the 23 code and now they can't use any Jordans in the game at all. Now, I know that's kind of crazy. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, that's right. I can't. So what I'm saying to y'all is please fix that because we want every single shoe. Also, when you're giving us um, additional data and all of that, I appreciate you giving us some sneaks and all of that, but please give us something else. We're not looking to have sneaks. We need great passing and things like that, which I'm going to get into. Now, um, another thing about the main menu, the 2K share. Um, I think you guys should just alleviate that. Um, when people are sharing stuff, you should only let certain people share certain things and like i was looking at a bunch of ratings and something had a high rate but a, a little download rate and i actually thought it was something good and when i downloaded it it wasn't really anything 
So, you know, the rating system for 2K Share, check out my sneaks. Um, the, the ratings for uh, 2K Share are kind of off. So, if you do want to download something, just download something that's been downloaded a lot of times instead of looking at ratings. Now, association mode i really don't have anything to speak on that because you guys tried to fix the online association y'all did the best that you guys could and i really don't have anything to speak on about that now the quick game mode the quick game mode is uh is great um that's the that's like the one mode that's actually great um the quick game now create a legend is something different um when you're picking people to uh, do create a legend with please give us every single person on the game and when i mean every single person i mean wilt uh a large one give us everybody just just forget it you know if you're gonna have the legends run this game please give us every single person to play create a legend with now um about this little dlc just take it off the game please it's a waste of time um nobody wants to play nba street um obviously nba street didn't go far um of course because they stopped making the game so why would you try to give us nba street in a dlc i don't want to play that I, I just want to play 2K. I just want to play Crew, and that's it. Now, um, another thing on my wish list is, of course, Crew Mode. Now, I know it's nothing that you could do to give it to us. Um, you said, of course, many a times, Crew Mode will not be in NBA 2K12. And I kind of, you know, I, I, I can stomach that. But you guys got to give us something for my player. Now, I know that I'm about to get into a big, big topic about my player, but I kind of want to wait off until uh, the second half. I'm going to get into that. But uh, I do want to say, when you guys give us patches and um, downloadable data, make sure that it's not glitched with, within itself. Because um, I've downloaded a lot of a lot of data, and it's, it's just been crazy. Check out that alley-oop. We doing our thing right now. <laughs> Second team is doing it. But uh yeah, I just had to talk about some gameplay real fast. But uh yeah, um at 2K Sports also. Um I know that your forum websites are going great right now and I know a lot of people get their information and data from the 2K forums. But why don't you guys actually, you know, incorporate inside the 2K.com website everything that everybody needs to know about 2K? Because you do kind of leave us in the dark on everything. I'm always in the dark. I always got to look at tweets. I got to go on numerous websites to find out information, you know, like operationsports.com, which is like the best website for me because I can find out anything about 2K that I want. But uh, back to, you know, what's, what else is wrong with 2K? Everything. I'm just, I'm just saying. But uh, it's seven seconds left in the um, second quarter. We're going to get into the halftime real fast. You know, um, I wanted to win this game very bad, but we'll see what happens. Um, also, Spalding, <laughs> it's 54 to 35, y'all. We doing our thing right now against the West. No competition. Hello, I'm Damon Bruce. The All-Star Game is in full swing. Let's get you out to the HP Halftime Report. The East All-Stars are coming out of the gates in charge. Their second unit making its impact felt offensively. They've come in ready to roll. And no quit in the West All-Stars. They came to win. You can see the effort on the offensive glass, mixing it up, getting plenty of second shot opportunities. That's going to do it for us here in the studio. We'll send you back to Kevin Harland and the crew for the second half call. All right, you guys, this is the start of the second quarter. Check out my man, Tony Parker. He ain't even get to take the jersey off yet. I know it sucks for him. But uh, I'm sitting on the bench once again. It's time for me to come in. But uh, let's talk about the best mode in the game and the worst mode in the game that everybody, you know, constantly comes to me to talk about. They want to know questions. They want to know answers. It's, it's a lot that goes on. My player mode. Now, the very, very, very first thing I want to say is... You guys got to upgrade this gameplay. The gameplay in itself is ridiculous. The uh, passing is off. The speed ratios for centers, power forwards to point guards is crazy. Now, I know, you know, in real life, if LeBron was to chase down Derrick Rose, he would catch him because he has a longer stride. But come on, guys. If a person has 52 speed and I have 99, there's no reason he should be catching me on a fast break with the ball or without the ball. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is the trade system. 
Now, I know when you guys made the game, you rushed it. Of course, we all know that, but you guys could have incorporated, you know, the no trade clause to yes, you know, come on. We don't want every single person getting traded to all types of teams. You know, it, it kills us because I got traded to the Sixers and my entire team is gone. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I have to start an entire new my player all over again. You know, and it, and it sucks because we wish that you would be able to patch this already midway through the season, and which you can. It's like it's like you can't come up with a magical fix, and then automatically the Sixers are going to be back together. And that's not the that's not the situation. So you guys need to upgrade the gameplay. Need to upgrade all these little tweaks and glitches. Like take for instance my endorsements. I have 17 endorsements, right? I would say five of them are glitched. When you guys came out with the 103 patch, every shoe endorsement that I got was glitched. The initial shoe, the billboard, the commercial, the magazine, and my second shoe almost even got glitched. I had to actually turn my autosave off to save everything from going haywire. Now, as I get this fast break, you already know what I'm about to do. Get that foul. Now, back to what I was talking about. Another thing, 2K Sports, yes, at y'all, at 2K Sports. Another thing you need to do is you got to fix just everything, man. Um, the, the purchases are great. You know, you could lower them a little bit. Like, the Blake Griffin dunk, come on, why should we have to wait almost three seasons into the game to get the Blake Griffin dunk? That's four million dollars. Come on, four million dollars. Like I only, I don't even think I get a whole like mil and a half in my first season. Like you killing me, and you know, already know we gotta buy jump shots, buy layup packages, buy charity uh, events. You you gotta buy everything, buy training. So come on, man, you guys gotta fix that. Also, the milestone system is great. You know, I get a, I, it. It seems like I get a milestone um, every single game, but when we have to buy abilities. Oh my goodness, the, the skill point ratio is crazy. 16,000 skill points for a dribble move. Come on, like, even though, you know, I can still dribble, sometimes I lose the ball when I want to do pull-up jumpers like Durant just did. And it, and it sucks because, you know, I may be on average, but it needs to be on great in order to do it. But, you know, that's another thing in the whole. Also, when my, my player wears a headband, please. Please, when I'm in interviews and, and endorsements and all of that, can you please take the headband off? Also, can you give us a choice of what type of suit to wear? Come on, Dookie Brown. You going to keep letting me wear this Dookie Brown suit all day long? Come on, man. Um, one one player, um, I mean, not player, but YouTuber told me that he wears an Armani suit in his style magazine. I was like, this boy is lying. He wears a Dookie Brown suit just like I was. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, also... Another thing, um, a lot of people want more customization. Um, a lot of people wanted, you know, the was the right from the Golden State Warriors. They wanted his haircut. You guys didn't give it to him. People wanted Brandon Jennings' haircut. You didn't give it to him. And it sucks because we all wanted the same thing. We all want customization. Also, tattoos. Come on. Now you know LeBron, uh, Monte Ellis. Uh, all these guys' tattoos are crazy. They're like the best tattoos on the game. But you guys don't give us any type of those tattoos. You give us the same tattoos from 2K11. Now, I know you might have to update patch, update patch, update patch. It may take you till about February to April to actually fix the entire game, which you brought out early. So it kind of sucks for all of us because you guys are just doing what y'all want to do. Now, some people might say you're only in it for the money. I would say the same. Um, I just think that you guys just want to do it for the money and you don't want to help any of us, you know, any of the people that actually put money into the game. Now, um, one thing about it is when I made my point guard, you know, I made him athletic and he couldn't shoot, but he was fast. But another thing was he couldn't get to the rim. How are you going to make a point guard at any height, a shooting guard at any height, when you drive to the rim, you actually can't get to the rim? Now, you guys tried to patch that, right? But what you actually did was you made driving harder and you made three-point three shooting harder. Three-point shooting used to be so cheese that anybody could just make any type of shot, even you, which we wanted. You know, we wanted to make threes, but we didn't want the computer to get overpowered in shooting threes, so you patched it. Also, you told us to play on simulation. We start playing on simulation. Things start looking up. Until the patch start really taking effect, we start noticing more and more little things that were off. 
about how you know if somebody drives to the lane they get to the lane with ease if somebody post up they post up and just score every single time now it kind of sucks because every time we try it, it we totally fail nothing happens and we just are sick every single day now also um another thing you guys need to patch please patch the back of these guys heads did you just see chris paul head why do chris paul got the biggest ball spot ever in the back of his head is there any way that you guys can fix some of these characters faces the way they look um you know a couple accessories the accessories really aren't too big but the way these guys definitely look some of these dudes look like aliens some of them look like people in, that live in the streets and, and it's not cool but um that was the end of the third quarter right there uh, of course, we're still leading. Um, Durant and James, they're doing their thing right now. I'm trying to catch up. I actually want to be player of the game, but it is what it is. Now, of course, you know I'm already in February, already in my My Player mood, and I haven't been key gaming it. I've actually been playing every single game, which is kind of tiresome. You know, um, I play every single game on 12 minute quarters, Hall of Fame simulation, and I go through it. You know, I've never seen the score like 75 to 55 on Hall of Fame. But let's get into the Sprite Spark. Fourth quarter getting going here. It's time for our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Let's go to Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, the East All-Stars bench had the spark in this one. Bench play is so crucial in any situation, but especially important here in the postseason. The big contribution from their reserves is... Okay, guys, um, it's the start of the fourth quarter. I'm actually starting. Um, that's probably because we're up by 20, and I didn't even get a chance to start, even though being the first pick for the point guard position in the all-star mode. Now, um, at Ronnie2K, how about, how about you do this? Um, when you're sending out tweets, how about you at, like, ESPN or something like that and give them the updates that we need? Because ESPN, when they retweet as well, you know, the information to get out so much faster. Because I see how many tweets you send out a day uh, to, you know, replying to people about problems. If you can, you know, tweet out a situation like, say, uh, the rookie contract signing. Like, um, supposedly the rookies um, are supposed to be signing their deals very, very soon. Now, if you send out a tweet saying, okay, at ESPN, when a rookie sign so, such and such, the roster update will be out such and such. And then it gets retweeted all over Twitter. That would make things so much easier than you just tweeting because you're not followed by as many people as, you know, the big sports companies are followed by. And, you know, it's nothing that you can do about that, but it would help everyone else. Because, of course, you already seen the big scandal about how Chris Paul was supposed to sign to the Lakers, but then Chris Paul didn't sign to the Lakers. And you seen how viral that was. So, you know, if you had any more information about 2K, you could definitely help us by tweeting it to the bigger companies. Now, um, at 2K Sports, I got a lot I want to say about you guys. Um, I know 2K developers may have uh, Twitter. I'm not really sure. But um, I just want to, you know, give you guys all of my rage and anger. Um, I broke my controller on 2K12. That's how bad the game was in the beginning. I literally slammed my controller numerous times, threw it at the wall. I was just pissed with the game, man. Um, I grabbed it October 4th at uh, 12 a.m. By October 6th at 12 a.m., my controller was broken. Like, I was totally raging. I was almost about, I would say about 20 games into the season that's how long i played i played it for about two days straight but i just kept noticing you know things i would get a whole bunch of turnovers and all of that and now the thing about turnovers right why is the on-ball defense that cheese the on-ball defense should not be that cheese people should not be ripping me when i have 90 ball security at all you know if i back you down it's no reason where i should bump into a player and i will automatically just lose the ball nobody touched it i just lose the ball on my own it kills me when that happens. Now, just like that block right there, how did the dude get the block? Now, check out this right here. Look at the shooting foul. I don't know who touched him. I didn't touch him. Somebody touched him. But obviously, he's going to the line. He followed through. That's what happens in real basketball. It's no reason why somebody should come down and get bumped. No call. And then you look at my player mode like, oh, man, I hate this damn game. Because that's what everybody is doing. Some people are using it as a... Uh, like I'm not even going. I'm not even going to say what I was about to say, 
<laughs> some people want to burn the disc. That's 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 basically what it is. Now, um, I recently saw a a, a tweet. I think um, it also came from Operation Sports as well that you guys are giving out the game for thirty nine ninety nine. That's a sixty dollar game being passed off for forty dollars. Uh, I want to know if I can get my twenty dollars back. I'm just saying. Can I get my twenty dollars back? Because obviously, it's a reason why you guys are giving out this game for only forty dollars. Now, some people might say, "Oh, iPod King, you're you're uh, you're trolling right now." I'm not trolling. I'm just keeping it one hundred because everybody feels the same way. When I seen that on OperationSpurs.com that you guys were, you know, welcoming the NBA back and giving out a game for forty dollars, I just I wanted to go to GameStop and say, hey, "Yo, y'all owe me twenty dollars right now, like right now, like." Without any type of argument, you guys owe me twenty dollars. But it is what it is. I paid sixty dollars for the game. I anticipated the game just like everybody else, and of course, two K failed me. Now, um, one thing I, I also want to get into the two K eleven servers. I see that you guys, you know, stepped it up, kept the servers up until April. You want to know why y'all did that? Because y'all didn't give us any crew mode in two K twelve. So guess what everybody's doing? They're looking for updated rosters in 2K11 and playing crew mode. And you can't even get the updated rosters in crew mode unless you guys do it. So one question that I have for y'all. Can y'all update the rosters for 2K11 as well and give us the same rosters that's in 2K12? If you guys do that, you know, I might buy a brand new copy of 2K11 and, and give you some money. Because obviously that's what you're all about. You're all about the money. And I'll, I'll let you get your, you know, what, $29.99 or something like that. You guys probably are even selling 2K11 for as much as 2K12 is, which is probably harsh. <laughs> but um, that's the end of this commentary, this patch wish list. If anybody, and I mean anybody has any type of wishes on this patch that is about to come out, please leave it in the comment section. Guaranteed is going to get answered because you already know what I'm doing with the title. This is going straight to at 2K Spurs and at Ronnie2K. This is IKC signing out. Peace. You were a man amongst boys out there tonight. It must feel good to have such a nice game when you're playing with so many of the league's best players. Any quick thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, uh, it's been a great experience. I've really enjoyed being out here, spending time with a lot of these guys who I usually only see for a little bit when we play against them. There's a lot I can learn playing with talent like this, so I see it as more an opportunity to improve my game above all else. To even be mentioned in the same breath with some of these guys, man, I, I, I just don't even know if I belong here.